Hello, Lisa here with May Dream Rose, and I wanted to share with you how I am making this cute card from Tailored Expressions. It is called the Flip Floral. It is so cute, and I already have the, the floral stamp, and it's that big. It's huge, and here's the sentiments. The sentiments are much bigger than on the card, which makes me happy. And I bought this card specific, or the stamp set specifically for Mother's Day. I'm going to send out a Mother's Day card to like probably 20 moms this year. And I needed something really quick and fast. And this is the one that like caught my attention. And I was looking for one for probably six months. So this is brand new. Of course, it's brand new because I didn't like any of the other ones. Anyways, enough chatting. And this is also some of the other two ones that I've made, one for an anniversary, one for best wishes. Um, I will say that if you're using archival ink, be careful not to push too hard because I got a little too much ink on there, but I don't think it's going to matter once I watercolor it. I, it'll look beautiful. So I like to position my stamp, which I already did, and then I've used my corner to to keep the paper in place. So then I will ink it. And I also want to make sure that the line, this line, is straight. That is what's going to make or break your card. So once you get that line straight, you can just start stamping. And I'm, I'm like super always worried about it being not perfectly straight when the paper's on it. Anyway, so... There's that one. Now I'm going to flip the card over and I'm going to keep it right there. I got my corner, so I really don't have to do a whole lot. If you feel a little more safe with the magnet, you can put the magnet on. And then you got this beautiful arrangement. And then what I can, what, what I'll do is I'll watercolor the background. Perfect. Okay. I'm good. I like this. All right. And then if, then I can put it aside and I can start to watercolor. I could also take a, a couple more and stamp and just keep going. Now what I will do is if I know I'm going to make 20 Mother's Day cards, I would get it started. And I like to put it down on this first, just get an idea of where the placement is. And you could take that off. I'm not going to because I'm going to get a whole bunch more <laughs> made up. Um, and now I'm just looking at where my the top of the H and the Y is, like just to make sure that they're all straight. And it's just, a, I think... I think getting the sentiments straight on perfect is probably the hardest thing about this card. And there we go. I got a perfect Mother's Day card and I can keep going and going and going. I hope this helps you with your stamp, with the stamp set. It really is my new favorite stamp set to make for spring and oh my gosh, look at all these things you can do. <laughs> different occasions with the same stamp set um, you could make a like a card set with these and that would look really awesome so if you haven't checked out tailored expressions website you really should they have a lot of wonderful stamps that I personally just am in love with so um, thanks for watching I hope this helps and um, check out my watercolor tutorials on how I paint flowers and backgrounds and um, I'll show the finished results soon. So thanks for watching.